Hi there. Wanted to uh, <laughs> talk about Tachyon Aerospace. Uh, Tachyon Aerospace is a company that had interviewed me a while back. Um, I guess uh, due to some of my research, uh, they, they felt I was a. It might be a good fit. Um, I uh, haven't heard from them, so. Anyways, as a disclosure group, new, uh, the New Energy Concepts group, I figured, hey, uh, I'd uh, go ahead and tell you all what I know about this company. And um, yeah, so let's get it kicked off here, Tachyon Aerospace. Uh, they're developing a advanced uh, flight system called the TAV-1. Um, and uh, the TAV-1 is... Uh, a spaceship kind of looks like the flight of the the flight of the navigator, um, and uh, they got this advanced rocket. Makes fuel on demand, um, and you can see <laughs> the magnetron here and here with our uh, the reactor. So it's pretty much looks like, and you know these are I don't know what these are. Um, they didn't really talk much about that. I think they're they're keeping it under their chest. Uh, the thing that I do know about that they uh, that Robert talks with spoke with me about uh, was the gravity assist drive. Um, where these these are basically a bunch of uh, homopolar uh, motors, and they're spinning so fast they got two magnets on either side. Uh, you know, Robert's uh, uh, bipolar magnets uh, that he's got on there. And uh, a little bit of solar power, <laughs> they start spinning around, and the whole thing starts spinning uh, because of gyroscopic precession. It also begins to lift up and creates its own little gravity field. Uh, he said they can move it with one person on each end, and it's about uh, uh, 80 tons or something, I think he said. I don't know, I'm a, I'm a bad listener. I guess that's why I didn't get the job. But anyways, uh, so that'll get going and then spin this, spins this generator. So it's also, you know, all these anti-gravity technologies are also free energy. You, you can just tap the, the rotation of the uh, gravitational field, um, just like they're doing here with the, with the wheel and pulley system. Um, the other thing is, uh, I do believe the fuel modules here are uh, made out of uh, quartz crystal. Um, the quartz crystal is is programmed. Uh, the quartz crystal is programmed uh, to emit the frequency of aluminum hydride. So as soon as the water hits it, it becomes oxygen and hydrogen to be used for. Uh, the the different various uh, the the various purposes of the tab one. So uh, yeah, that's about as far as we got into. Uh, what I like about this company is that they uh, they do have a lot of transparency. You know, they're at least showing their stuff. Like here's a, a you know a little plasma fusion thingy. Uh, it kind of reminds me of uh, what Nassim Harriman is doing his uh, gravity drive um, but uh, obviously these uh, technologies are much more advanced than anything that group is doing um, oh yeah let's look at this bipolar field generators so each one of these has a, a little drop down where it talks about it uh, of course there's no Pictures. There's pictures for some of them, no, and no uh, descriptions, and some of them have descriptions, but no pictures. Uh, you know, trying to be as transparent as they can, uh, which is uh, which is cool. Um, and uh, yeah, so the, using a lot of crystal technology um, for the high frequency stuff. Um, one, I can tell you, I guess one story that uh, Robert told me. While uh, he was, we were doing a Skype uh, interview, and 
I guess what they had done is made a metal track, kind of like two two capacitor plates, and uh, put a rat with you know those little dielectric uh, rat balls. You know the rat can run around the house without getting in, into any trouble, um, and uh, you know turned on put put the ball in between the plates, and it was a big ten foot track, and uh, hit hit it with the high frequency in the in the uh, uh, the electrostatics, the high electric field, and pushed it with a uh, a pool cue, and uh, that the rat looked like it teleported around the track. Um, he said that he had uh, some high speed cameras on it and was able to track the rat going around the track at 132,000 miles per second. Uh, so that's that's pretty extraordinary, uh, right there. Um, of course, with my own electrostatic and high frequency um, experiments, I've also been able to show that using soda lime glass and, and other dielectric materials which you can find on this YouTube channel. Uh, I think that's one of the reasons why they called me up and and uh, you know, told me this story, it was because some of my own uh, experiments, I guess, were leading up to some of this stuff. So that's exciting, at least uh, I know I'm in the right direction, at least. Um, these guys are you know, 30, 34 years ahead of me, <laughs> which is cool. You know, I like to be able to uh, do videos like this and support them and uh, show that you you can, you can be, uh, you know, out there with your technology and what you're doing and uh, be transparent and still, you know, uh, be able to do business. It's, it, it shouldn't be so cloak and dagger, you know, uh, especially technologies like these that we can all use uh, as you know, filter down system such as the solar gravity assist drive, which obviously you can run your house off of. You know, um, pretty cut and cut and dry. You know, a lot of these aerospace technologies are gonna uh, filter down to you know our level, and uh, you know Robert understands that, uh, and uh, that's why I think he's eager to to not only move on and do the aerospace th missions and stuff like that. Um, but also, you know, leave leave behind a better uh, technological legacy for for our future generations, and uh, um, that's what really you know made me want to talk with these guys and uh, see what they were up to. Um, and I encourage you to get a hold of Robert and uh, and talk to him and uh, see where his head's at with this stuff. And uh, yeah, um, these guys are pretty open. So. Yeah, I just want to do a uh, short uh, video on these Tachyon guys, and they got a Facebook page, and they got a um, some uh, videos on YouTube, and there's a uh, one of their products for the launch pad, um, and uh, let's see, there's Robert O'Keefe there, and uh, he's working on. Uh, Working with Impact X, you know this is uh, you know where the Rockefellers and all those people hang out and wine and dine and you know schmooze it up. Uh, so I'm glad uh, Robert's keeping an eye on those folks <laughs> for us. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, the uh, the Tav one is going to be really exciting uh, technology, and uh, the group is a, a really um, you know they got their heads on straight. They're they're kind of they're down to earth. They're not you know running around thinking they're you know dragons from the Pleiades or anything like this. You know these these are just kind of regular folks with uh, extraordinary out of the box thinking. And uh, yeah, so I'd like to uh, thank Robert for at least uh, you know giving me a hear uh, in our interview and telling me some of the cool stuff that uh, you guys got going on and I just want to let you know uh, we'll be rooting for you uh, keeping an eye out for you and uh, you know keeping the eye out for you <laughs> no just kidding uh, but yeah just want to wish these guys the best of luck and uh, let's uh, show all you viewers uh, what's possible what's going what's going to happen and uh, you know Let's all start uh, talking about this stuff, you know, making it the 
status quo. Let's, you know, not make it so one little group's got, you know, all of the stuff that they, they're doing. Uh, why don't we do it, too? Um, there's tons of uh, ways that we can also uh, help out. So let's, uh, let's all get in contact and, uh, and keep in communication. You know, uh, teamwork makes the dream work. So that's me. Just want to show you guys Tachyon Aerospace. Signing off.